Todd Pushanchi, one of the general gastroenterologists here at the Digestive Health Institute, and March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. So there's a couple different test options. Um, there are stool tests, there is a flexible sigmoidoscopy, there is a CT colonography, and a colonoscopy as options for screening. Let's go through each of those. So stool tests are submitting um, a sample of stool and having it be tested for blood and or DNA. These tests are every year. The combined test with the DNA is every three years. A flexible sigmoidoscopy is an abbreviated version of a colonoscopy where a scope goes through the rectum and up to the lower third of the colon. The CT colonography is a radiology test where they take cross-sectional imaging of your colon and they virtually look at it. And the colonoscopy, which we always say is sort of the gold standard here, um, is a camera or an endoscope um, similar to the machinery you see behind me here. And that is a test that can not only take a look, but if we do see a polyp or something we need to act on, it can also be therapeutic. It is the third most common cause of cancer-related deaths, and thus it is important to bring light to this malignancy and the impacts that it has on society.